There are over 400 parking spots. Thomas Town Traders in High Street, station sponsor. Can you please tell me where I'm at right now? 88.6, Subway offer, we have many delicious subs with less than 6 grams of fat, including chicken teriyaki, and bake our own bread all day, every day. Subway Eltham is great value and offers six different footlong subs for $7 or less, including Italian meatballs. And footy clubs, there are platters from just $40 for quick and affordable catering. Just phone Kenny on 9439 0003. Subway Eltham, 1050 Main Road, with parking in the United Service Station. Call in after the footy. Station sponsor. Back soon with the second half of the Northern Football League match of the day on your local station, 88.6 Plenty Valley FM. Back at a good time. The play is just underway now. Ball just on McLeod's way and a three kick played to Hardwick player. Running back with the fly of the ball and a chance for them to reload from half back. Kick across the face of goal. Goes to Simes. Still 40 out from Hardwick. From um, McLeod's goal rather. Chip up line. Good pick up by Finn. Great work by the big man. Handball and there is some space now. It's in the hands of, uh, of the youngster there of uh, Giles. Kicks it long. Two on one situation. Tyler did well. Got the spoil at ground level power weekly. Is that, he was on the. He's on his feet, he's taking the ball out of someone's, oh, I guess, possession. He was on their feet, so a great effort there, and uh, it's wrapped up for a ball up. About 50 metres up from going, he's been a star in the first half as power. He kicked four goals, his defensive pressure's been fantastic as well. Uh, Noel with the rough work, won it down. A lot of McLeod numbers around that ball, and uh, umpire calls for Heslin, one of the ones in there, and Harris as well, as the umpire decides to throw it up again. So this time there, one down by Noel, a great tackle oh. ground level by Harris. Earned a free kick there, holding the ball. Great tackle and uh, nothing in that situation that uh, Nabut could do there. Just a bit too slow. And Harris now a chance from half back. A fantastic bit work from Harris, and it's a shocking little kick though. It goes straight to Andrew, but he can't pick it up properly. There's an opportunity here to break away. There may have been a free kick paid here off the ball. Yes, the umpires play on. It's going to go to Heidelberg. There's going to be a shot on goal here, about 50 metres out. It's going to be Tyler. We saw he's got a beautiful long kick, kick two long goals, and one that hit the post uh, in the first half. And he's got the first shot of the second half here, Caleb Tyler, and he's about 40 metres out. He's on about yeah 45 degree angle again. It's uh, one of those kicks that you'd expect your senior players to put away. We saw Hoolahan kick one in the first half, and he couldn't score for me, but Tyler. Good kick. Lovely kick of the boot. Oh, Fading swinging. late. Oh, we looked good initially. We had, we had the perfect view of it right behind him. It just swung to the left uh, very late in the in proceedings there, in for a minor score. It's Heidelberg 10 9 69. McLeod 6 8 42. Around the grounds quickly, the halftime scores 5 10 40. Epping, South Morang 3 6 24. Uh, not, uh, West Crescent Lakeside 6 6 42 leading Green. 5 6 36, uh, Hurstbridge 3 4 22, Trailing the Stars 13 7 85, and Layla 28 leading or trailing Diamond Creek 36. Woodhams with the kick out, kicks it along to the outer side, and now there's going to be a boundary thrown in front of Kane Shaw on the right back pocket side here for McLeod, and the Ruck's going at it again. One down by Walter, only as far as the boundary line again, and we'll get another ball in. Early stages in the third quarter here. Of course, scores here 69 playing 42. Heidelberg's favourite, lead by 27 points. McLeod led by a point at, at quarter time at Heidelberg. Five goals to one in the second. Was set up a, a really handy lead now. Ball comes to ground level. Scooter White couldn't pick it up. Overrun it, but Harris in there to help him out. Tackled by two players. Great tackling by Heidelberg. Umpire says, I'll have it again for another ball up. John, what do you think uh, the, uh, the McLeod team needs to do to get back into this game in the second half? I think, look, I went out at uh, half time and the ground is still very, still, it's very soft and it's very wet as well. So I think look, long balls is probably something you'd want to do. But, uh, Sorry to interrupt, Heidelberg on. Advantage paid. Noel got the free kick and uh, coming in, kicking his fifth goal was the youngster in Power Week. He's having a field day out there today. Uh, a real breakout game for him. He was good last week as well coming in. The 18-year-old kicked five goals now. So it's Heidelberg, 11-9-75. McLeod, 6-6-42. Sorry to cut you off there. Go back to the Jordan. That's right. No, I'll just go through some of the stats at halftime as well. Uh, clearances for both teams at halftime. McLeod were on 10. Heidelberg were on 12. Of those clearances from the centre, both teams had seven centre clearances. Uh, inside 50s for both teams. McLeod, 23. 
Heidelberg 27, so sort of even uh, with inside 50s. Marks inside 50, not as high as six for both teams. And every time the ball goes down in the direction of Nolan or Tyler, always sitting at the bottom of that pack is Little Powick, and he's been absolute surprise back and sensational, just bobbing up with five goals. He's shucked everything. He's been able to weave his way in and out in these sloppy conditions. Excellent to have a player like that, as you were mentioning, Jackson Weatherall, uh, that we saw last week for Eltham. Just a little player who can weave in and out and do some fancy things, and that's what we've seen from Powick today, some excellent stuff. And uh, Heidelberg breaking away again. There's a right contest here in the middle of the ground. Walter wins it down. He tries to get it towards Andrew, but it's only as far as Harris. He gets a little handball out. Uh, the long sleeves out there is uh, Scooter White. He tries to get it again. And now Heidelberg breaking away. Nolan just a uh, scrubby little kick to the outside of the ground. No one there. There's plenty of players just chasing this ball. One of them is uh, Matthew Clark, the big redhead, and he tries to keep it in, but it rolls out of bounds on the outside of the ground, just in front of the scoreboard. So throw in now, slightly edged McLeod's way in terms of territory now, so the throw in goes. It's Walter up against Finn. Finn's had the better content, but Walter won that one down emphatically. Ground level, Heidelberg have numbers around, they'll probably push it out for a throw in. McLeod players want the lift for it, but there's uh, no chance of that happening. It's Dabolo who, who followed out of bounds, and we get a throw in now. Getting close to the McLeod's goal, still about 70 out. Walter again to go up against Finn. Ball comes in now, Ruckman wrestling, front spot Finn, lovely bit of work, down to the on-ballers, quick tackle lay, though it's, it's tough and close, it has been all day, heavy conditions here at the Winton Park, ball now, Ricky Rock, another boundary throw, it's getting closer and closer to that boundary line, umpires let it go, and finally it makes its way back across, so in all of that, three throw-ins, McLeod's made about 10 metres of, uh, of territory there, ball still far side of the ground, half forward from McLeod. A lot of boundary throw-ins all through the first half, and again we're seeing at the start of the second half. Very hard for anyone to get clear ascendancy out of the stoppages as the umpire throws it in again, and Finn knocks it in the direction of Harvey. There's a few players tracking this ball. Opportunity there for the goal scorer in power. He tried to get it, but all the players over on this ball at the moment. No one can pick up clean possession, and there's a tackle. It's a very good tackle uh, laid by Melican in the middle of the ground, and there's going to be a bounce right in the guts. Uh, as, as Tommy said, right in the middle of the ground now, throw in, throw up rather, Walter, one down, only as far as Nolan, slap around, couldn't uh, find the brother there, came up with his boot, there's still Heidelberg men around this ball, lots of numbers once again, Harris in there, throws it on the boot, far side of the ground, foot race now, Clark's going to be in amongst it again, but the boundary line's going to be all comers, we've played now in this third term of gone, six minutes, Heidelberg's the only goal for the quarter, Heidelberg 11-9, leading McLeod 6-0-6. Six six. Sorry, well, just to go back to what, uh, what I think McLeod should do to, to try and get back in this game, Heidelberg obviously a very good possession, we've seen a lot of ground ball, I think a lot of, uh, I think McLeod need to play a bit more of a possession game, probably some more short hand passes and short kicks just to try and keep possession through the midfield. It's almost damned if you do damned if you don't. Heidelberg's such good at their pressure and uh, good at getting those numbers back, though. You play the short game and you run the risk, but it's getting those long balls back, and Heidelberg just seems to have numbers that every time. As, as play continues, three kick for in the back, advantage played. Heidelberg now running with the ball, kick inside, looking for Nolan. He's, he's lost his opponent, yeah. and, and uh, you know, Brian has gone back. In fact, it's actually Hewitt, and uh, the experience said there, got back, took a mark, running back to the side of the ball, going back now. Chance, he's third. Two goals came in that uh, that second term, and this one here, well, it makes it really tough for McLeod to get back if he puts his on through. And Kane Shaw tried to come off his man and affect that contest, but when your man's Michael Finn, you've really got to stay on him, because uh, any high ball's up in the air, and he's, he's going to find it. And now an opportunity here for Heidelberg to extend their lead even further. McLeod are going to have to do something sensational here in the uh, second half here to get back into this game. And lining up for goal, coming in is Nolan, and it's a lovely kick straight over the goal umpire's head, 30 metres out directly in front, and he split the middle, and and Heidelberg advance even further. Uh, they are now 81 compared to McLeod, uh, 42. He's, uh, he's becoming a real problem, obviously, Noel. Two yep. in the... Uh in the second quarter, another one now, but uh, he was the one obviously got the, the free kick, which set up the first goal power, of course taking the advantage. And, yeah. He's uh, playing deep at goal, and, and, and uh, you would probably still have the, the, the awareness and smarts to go with him. Obviously, Nolan, one of the uh, elite players in the competition, and he's, he's really starting to show that strong mark there. Completely lost his opponent from you know 40 metres out, put through uh, the simple set shot. We saw Lynch in that second quarter, missed two goals late, it really hurt. It could have cut the margin for two goals, and said now it's out to, to a 39 point ball game. And Ruck's going out again, Finn wins it down to Harvey, kicks long into the forward line in the direction of Nolan again. It's almost a mark there. And there's a chance for Heidelberg in the left forward pocket. Opportunity now to clear. Shaw gave the hands over the top. Woodhams back to Shaw and now clearing kick from McLeod out to the wing position on our nearest commentary side of the ground. Uh, Finn trying to work his way into the contest. Hall hand sharking out the back, but now an opportunity for McLeod.
McLeod. Uh, there's a chance here to break away. Oh, great tackle on Andrew. That was uh, Tyler, I think. Yeah. Uh, Ganino, no, no, it wasn't. Oh, well done, Ganino. Fantastic stuff taking down Andrew, who's been a great playmaker here for McLeod so far in the game. Uh, great kick by Hallahan up to half forward. Uh, there's a chance to shark it. It's a fantastic little work here by the Heidelberg player. Couldn't quite see who that was. He gave the hands over. A little snap around the corner. Has that snuck in for a goal? Nolan again it was. It's Nolan again, and he's snapped it from 30 metres out on the left-hand side. Swacked it on his right foot, and he's curled it back in for a beautiful goal. And Nolan, I'll tell you what, he's up and about. Out now they've got power with five and Nolan with four, getting very hard to contain the Heidelberg boys. It's, uh, it's fast getting out of hand, isn't it, for uh, for, for McLeod now. Heidelberg, they needed their first couple of goals rather than McLeod to, to get back in the contest. 26 points behind at half time. Heidelberg's come out and kicked uh, three goals within the first you know, 10 minutes of the, second, of the third quarter. Now a 45 ball game is what ensues. And that, and that clearance just there, Finn straight down to Harvey and he might do it again here, he's at the front of this contest but well done there nicely by uh, I think that was Harris there uh, locking up the contest, there's going to be another bounce uh, right in the middle of the ground once again near the cricket pitch which is a little bit difficult for the midfield, midfielders to get around but uh, they're managing so far nicely today and there's a little hit out there from O'Brien uh, he went third man up, opportunity going forward here for Heidelberg, little quick kick and it's going to be another bounce, uh, now this time at half forward for Heidelberg. Clearance is this quarter since Heidelberg's getting all the ball from the middle of the ground. They have. Heidelberg have had four clearances to McLeod's two. Out of the centre clearances, though, all of Heidelberg's clearances have, have in fact been from the centre. In comparison to uh, McLeod's, just one centre clearance. Forward now, far side of the ground, doing some, uh, a bit of work out back to Tigers, bumping the ball forward again. Getting tough now for McLeod. Getting numbers by the ball. A big bit of play now. Coming through again, Nolan. Hand at the back. Couldn't find a team, and now running through the crash of the pack again. There are a chance, a lot of numbers around this ball. Quick step outside, couldn't pick it up. It might be a free kick in the back. The crowd throwing their body around the ball. That was Shaw getting involved there, and you got to throw in far side of the ground. Getting darker and darker to call. You almost see the lights on now. Extremely difficult from this far side of the ground. I think where uh, Heidelberg are winning the game is at the stoppages, and more so what happens after the stoppages. So we've seen a lot of uh, boundary throwings and centre bounces in this game, and the way Heidelberg set up around the stoppages, they always seem to win the ball like they have now. Heidelberg break away now, left foot kick in. Side forward 50, Nolan couldn't quite take it. Now a chance for McLeod to get out. Will this be paid deliberate? It's a little handball straight to the boundary line. Maybe disguised it well enough. And there'll be a boundary thrown in the left forward pocket. Good opportunity here for a goal for Heidelberg. Heidelberg 12 9, or 13 9, in fact. 87 playing 66 42. Third man up, got it out to Woodham's now from McLeod. Trying to break through Ooh. the tackle, couldn't get through. But Heidelberg, the, the intensity of the tackle has just been magnificent all day. They're just showing the way now. McLeod still working it forward, looking for Clark, good mark overhead, no infringement paid, ball close to the band right in front of us, tall hand, broke through attack, got the handball out, went to Logie, Logie over the top, finds his target now, the bench just uh, interfering with our vision here, but I pull up the chair as well, goes at the way for McLeod now, the away, long kick oh. going forward, but there's no one home, Finn's the only one, it eluded him over his head, but he's still first to the ball, got through the Clark tackle, didn't get through the second time though, full hand, threw it out, went out of bounds, and the umpires will throw it in, but 55 out from goal. McLeod will it works really cut out from him. It's important now they keep their heads up, keep working hard and try to stem the bleeding. Don't want to fall too or, you know, far enough behind now as it is. They want to fall any further behind. Finn got it to the back of the pack. Good tackle laid by Wallahan. Ball back inside the middle of the ground. Da Danny Nolan that was sliding through. Lovely bit of work. Got it out to Brunelli. They're just getting the ball forward as they can. Rugby style. Earning that territory but a good mark in the defensive half of the ground was taken by Heslin. And it was a nice little kick out wide. He found Justin White who tried to break oh, away. There's a great tackle, tackle coming in. Just got a foot to it, Justin White. Now it's going to be player. Heidelberg player got a free kick for a high kick to the head. That's kicky in danger. And now a chance to break away on the outer side. It's a nice kick from Sinclair. It really oh, found yeah, a nice yeah. little paddock here for Harvey. And he's got a bit of time and space if he does something smart with it. It's a lovely kick. He found a man at half forward. Uh, well done there. I think that might have been Young. And now he brings it in board. And it's going to be a free kick, I think. Or, a mark, or was a mark, was it? Oh, I thought it might have been chopped the arms, but it's going to be a mark. Simes, I think. Just, yeah. just back, you took it the pressure in the middle of the ground. Justin White, the player who always seems to have some yeah. time, and that was again Powick running down from behind. Great tackle. He kicked the five goals, he's laying tackles in the middle of the ground as well, and uh, a chance now for Heidelberg to really extend the lead. And it is starting to get quite ugly for McLeod now on the score, but it's 45 points, and the Tigers now a chance. They put this one through, it'll be the last little, they'll already kick the past six, it'll be seven consecutive goals now for the Tigers coming through now. Shot on goal. 
It's high, up and under kick. It's going to go across the face of the goal. Won't be a major. Just a minor score now. Heidelberg six. Oh, pardon me. McLeod six six forty two. Heidelberg thirteen ten eighty eight. Now they don't get the six points for this, that one, but there was great link up play on the outer side of the ground from Harvey and Sinclair. Uh, clever work through the traffic, and they were able to get uh, a shot inside fifty, which is what yeah, we're looking for. Nolan was come up from that previous got holding his head from that kicking danger. He got a boot uh, right right in the head there, so he, he uh, made to earn that free kick. But he always puts his head over it, so he. Uh, one of the hardest players in competition is uh, Danny Nolan. We've been known for it for you know, a long time now in the Heidelberg, Heidelberg colours. The kick out goes to White. White kicks it back where it came from now, so the right back in the, in the same position now from that kick out. He's got Shaw. Hewitt as well as Shaw, and he's opted for the skipper. Marks on his defensive 50, looking out wide. Got no real penetration with their play at the moment, no real uh, momentum or, or confidence going forward. The chip at the line, looking for Core, who's run underneath it. Well done there by uh, Dre Pack to run him under a ball. Finn now, looping handball, which he the put uh, Logie under the pressure, but he's up to it. He gives the one two, got it back, Logie. Left foot kick, top of the square. Who's back? Shaw running. Oh! Mark Heidelberg man from the side. No, no free kick paid. McLeod are going to get it away with it now. Hewitt, is that a free kick there in the goal? So Tommy put minus board, so chip over the top. Couldn't be controlled there by Heston. Just worried out of it. Ball close to the uh, boundary line. Might be a throw in. A lot of numbers around it. The umpire says he'll ball it up instead. You I thought for a second it just stuck in the jukes, but it just bobbled out. I was unfortunate. Nearly took the big hanger. You were talking about no penetration with McLeod, and I was just looking at uh, the way Heidelberg was setting up. They've got a fantastic zone. Just the play spread out very evenly. You see Finn already, with Nolan being forward and Tyler, and now it's Finn to not worry about rucking the forward half, and uh, and Finn just sits you know, a kick or two behind the play. And Harvey got a handball out for Heidelberg, only as far as the McLeod players out at half back. Now a kick onto the wing, out commentary position side of the ground. I think that's Hallahan who's picked it up and gone in board. It was a nice little kick he found. Oh, I think that's Logie, and he gives the hands off now. There's a chance to go forward here for Drapak. He went inside, into the pocket. It wasn't the greatest kick. Didn't really advantage anyone from his team, and it's rolled out the left foot. 50s this quarter, Jordan. All Heidelberg's way once again. It has been seven inside 50s to one. It's just been dominating from, from, uh, from Heidelberg. They can't get it past uh, past the centre line. They, they've got uh, man one out in the goal square, but they, they just can't get it past uh, forward at the moment. Yeah, it's uh, having yeah, real problems. As soon as we get it from half back, you just know it's like a trampoline. It's just coming straight back in. So a lot of numbers around the ball again. Seen it plenty of times. So they called it plenty of times. But bad now, just kicking to touch almost. <laughs> And that uh, finds the boundary line. 50 metres out from their goal. Scoreboard reading McLeod, 6-6-42. Heidelberg out in the distance, 13-10-88. And the throw-in uh, going to be in front of those two ruckmen that we've been calling all day. They've been fantastic, both of them. Michael Finn and a great effort from Matt Walter, uh, winning it down. And now there's a chance to break away. It was a nice kick from Harris. It went up to the wing position. A lot of Heidelberg players around this ball. Hallahan couldn't pick it up. He got some other boys on there. And now a kick from Sinclair, high in the direction of a couple of tools. Uh, there's a chance for Brunel to pick it up, but Someone's Harris did well. It was a nice, nice tackle indeed. And now here's Core trying to break away, trying to get it for McLeod, and it's going to be out of bounds. There's going to be yet another stoppage, and as you said, an injury in the middle of the ground. Yeah, McLeod player on the ground. He's just got the, uh, the team doctor just helping him up now. I can't see who that is. Uh, try and get around on that just a few moments. We'll be back to that shortly as Nolan wins. Well, the ruck contest is unopposed, really. It was Justin White at the bottom of the pack, though. He's got his toe poke forward, but it's all Heidelberg running back there, running in waves. Fullerhand, lovely link up play, kicks it long down the line, two on one contest, falls to the front. Heslin is under, he's trying hard from the crowd, but the handball out, they're trying to break through. Heslin again, one, two, kicks long down the line now. His kick will, it's Michael Finn again, he's just dominated down back. And, Matty Walter there just didn't go with him. Finn was the one who read that off the boot. There's going to be a 50 metre penalty because he was dealt with afterwards. But you just saw it then. He was he started next to Walter, knew where the kick was going to go. He ran forward and Walter was 10 metres behind him there. And, and Finn well, was taking countless marks at half back. But uh, poor defensive effort there by Walter. And it forced Daniel O'Brien to give away a 50 metre penalty and a kick inside 50. The yeah, umpire said it back. he'll have to bring it back, Michael Finn. It was a nice kick. It was beautiful. I just uh, found out that was Hamish Painter who was lit, helped off the ground for, with the uh, McLeod team dockers. And now Heidelberg going inside 450 through Logie wasn't the greatest kick went to the outer side of the ground it's going to be out of bounds in that deep left forward pocket commentary side of the ground so once again it's getting pretty dark in here I reckon we're not far away from another shower there's Heidelberg here leading the contest comfortably 46 points in front Ball now bottom of the pack 40 metres out from Heidelberg's goal probably only 30 actually and we'll have another ball up we've seen so many throw-ins and ball ups today it's one of those days because heavy conditions and Heidelberg now is content to lock it up Andy Lee going the way this completely stopped McLeod's run all day. After the first quarter, McLeod five goals in the first term. They've added one since in nearly two quarters of footy, a quarter and a half. They're going to earn a free kick down back now. Looks like it might have gone against Giles down there. And a, a chance for McLeod to clear from defensive 50. 
last 10 minutes have been able to do this a number of times, but they just can't find a target at the wing or half forward. No, at the back of this zone, there's so many Heidelberg players just uh, sweepy around the back and able to pick up the easy balls when the drop marks occur. Now a chance here for McLeod to work out the back. There's Andrew, he's been trying up tirelessly all day. He gave the hands off. It was a nice work to Harrison. He chipped it in short and he found Lynch, who's a long way up the ground from where he normally starts. Long kick into half forward. Opportunity for McLeod, but out the back once again, all the Heidelberg players just streaming off half back. Murray, Murray tried to get away, it was partially smothered kick, but they're going to get out of it here, Heidelberg, and they move it out nicely through Naboot. He tried to make it, and that may be on the ball, that's possibly a throw as well, but the umpire's just letting it go, letting the ball run like they're doing the AFL. Just letting it go until it spills out, spills out again. There's a bit of Bit of push and shove there in the middle, but nothing too serious at the moment. Brunelli over the top of that pack and we'll have a bounce. So Paul up right in front of us here in the commentary box. Bolter, no one went up with him. He, he fisted it forward, trying to find Andrew, couldn't get it. Might be a free kick. Oh, Jim, nice bend up there by Naboo, did it well. Finds the kick inside, fortunate, but it landed in the hands of Logie. Don't know if it was intended for him. He switches the play, lovely work to Harvey. Harvey can play on straight away. No, he's taken the mark, he's dropped it afterwards, so the umpire calls him back over his line. Now goes to Tyler, work under it nice. Is it going to be a push though? Mark back to Hewitt and, and McLeod away now, far side, White in plenty of space. Hasn't had much room all day, but he's got it now. Touches the ball on the ground. No one really forward from the go-to now. He gives a handball off, should get it back. Not going to now. O'Brien's well made a good lead and Cahal calls all by himself. They haven't spotted him though. Top of the square, great work there by Kenny. Uses his experience, got the one-on-one mark. Couldn't get it to that uh, Cahal caller who was on his own in that right forward pocket. Need to switch it through the middle of the ground and get it over to him because he was uh, with about 30 metres space either side. Now going inside Brunelli for Heidelberg. It wasn't the greatest uh, kick. Uh, Chopped off over there by the big Ruckman and that's Walter and now he swings it out wide. It's good work and he finds Murray on the right half forward flank. He goes in with the right boot. It's a nice kick in the forward 50. Lynch was over there but a uh, chance for Finn to read it over the top. He gave it to Sinclair. It's a nice precision ball movement at half back. He finds Harvey and he's on the right half back flank. He uses his left foot. Goes long to the tall man out there at the contest. It might have been Nolan I think. And out on that wide side of the ground where it's difficult to see in the darkness. It's a kick up to half forward. Tries to find a man uh, making the lead but it just bounces off his knees and rolls out at right half forward for a boundary time. Michael Finn is allowed to do as he pleases when he gets down back. Again, they've caught this there. I called it in the background, but uh, he didn't get the mark, but the ball hit the pack. He was the one grabbing the balls before he hit the ground, dashing out of defender. As a, you know, as a small defender would do, he's just got so much time down there. He's allowed to just do as he wants there, and uh, as that loose man. And you can see him now again, he's got no one within 50 metres of him. He's hard to take a mark inside 50 and a chance now the kick will be their fourth goal of the quarter. You've got to close down that stoppage and extend to a 50-plus point lead. And it's a good move from uh, from Ryan Smith, the Heidelberg coach, to put to put Finn at the back of the stoppage, because, uh, sorry, at the back of the zone, because McLeod have been playing lots of long balls, and you put the tall man back there, and he'll just take the mark over the head. So now coming through, Heidelberg leading 13-10 to 6-6, a chance now to extend that lead to 52 points. Kick, long kick off the boot is fading, and another minor score for Heidelberg. It moves to 13, 11, 89. McLeod 6, 6, 42. In this quarter, guys, McLeod yet to add a score to their uh, their halftime score. Heidelberg, in the meantime, added three goals, uh, three goals three. So 21 to nothing in this quarter is McLeod now link up through White, kicking in hope more than anything. It was chopped off, and now Heidelberg a chance. Good chase down from behind. It was a paint to the, ta the uh, tackle, but it's still with Heidelberg. Nolan. It was a throw though. It came out, came from Logie. The umpire is going to pay the free kick McLeod's way. Walter's working the space, they're not going to use him now. They're going to go up the line, right in front of us now. Get well, we did his work cut out there. That was a player in the concert item. We haven't recorded his name much. And getting in front of him and taking the mark was the bowler. And he did well and he brought it inside and he found the big Ruckman Finn who we were talking about before. He's just absolutely everywhere at the moment. It's almost just like a loose defender, not even a Ruckman. <laughs> he kicks long to half forward. He tried to find no one and rolls out of bounds. So it's going to be a, a throw in. Right in that wing position, as we said before, Heidelberg 13 11 89, McLeod 6 6 42. And since quarter time, it's been all Heidelberg one goal yep. to, uh, yeah. to eight since quarter time. So Justin White couldn't get the, the ball out of that situation there. Now running after the boots of the monks that couldn't pick it up. It's hard to get near the boundary line. They're going to have a throw in 45 metres out from Heidelberg's goal. Another, another inside 50 entry for them. McLeod just struggling to get the ball in there taking the half, and when they do, it's just coming out with uh, such pace. I think Naboot's been great for uh, Heidelberg so far this quarter. He's got a lot of little balls and some great tackling pressure across half-back. He's been one of those guys who's been getting out, uh, feeding out to the back of his own and able to 
the, the pill over the top of uh, the McLeod structures. And now there's a bounce here at Ford 50, taken out of the ruck by Nolan. Just a swinging hook up towards goal if he didn't want to be tackled. And now a chance here for Heidelberg. I think there was a little kick off the ground there. It might have been, might have been Powick again. He was young he got that time. I was young that time. Oh, they both got the blonde hair. Plenty of space there and uh, easy to goals. I might be wrong, they were waiting for him. For them just to turn around, but uh, just again, top, kick top of the goal square, two on one situation, uh, as easy as you like, just a toe poke with no one around him whatsoever. So it's uh, Christian Brandt, we're pulling his hair out there. This had numbers before the ball with Heidelberg, and that was uh, Giles. a goal to Giles, in fact, it was number 35 in the back there. So he kicked his first goal of the day, and it's McLeod 6642, Heidelberg 14 11 95. And they're waiting to just uh, 53 points. The crowd to be disappointed with it. They worked hard in the first quarter, let, let go of that effort. Finn completely wins the ruck right contest down at the bottom of it. Handball out, it came from, was it Logan on the inside of the ground, but Heidelberg pushing forward again. A bit of a fumble now. Now, long kick inside, top. 30 metres up, got five from the back, couldn't mark it, Nolan. The crowd man ran under it, we have the ball up, 40 metres out, 30 metres out from Heidelberg's goal, but they're winning every set of clearance down. You almost feel sorry for the defenders, it's being absolutely bombarded now. And Heidelberg's completely locked down on guys who are influential from McLeod in the first half. Guys like Andrew, guys like Shaw, uh, guys like Martin, O'Brien now pinch hitting in the ruck, he hasn't been as effective against Finn as he probably could have been. Uh, haven't seen much of Considine, I would have liked to say, haven't seen much of his Premier. There's a few guys uh, that have really fallen off the map here at the uh, uh, after quarter time and there's an opportunity now for yet another goal. So uh, just around the grounds quickly, Diamond Creek at a distance now, 12 9 91 leading Laylor 8-6-54, I think we should have blood rules, we see Harvey back on the ground now, we can have that fall up. And the Rocks go at it again, Finn involved there again with O'Brien, Finn won it down. Uh, but now break your way out of contest. No, it's going to be a free kick to O'Brien. Finn uh, probably got it over the shoulder there. Uh, O'Brien now doing a bit of uh, release ruck work. Uh, there's a few guys who've been rotating through there from McLeod all day. And now they bring it out through left half back. It's an opportunity to go long down the ground. But the siren's gone. And that is the end of the third quarter. It is 42 playing 95. Uh, it's a big margin going into the last change here. Holderberg leading. And around the grounds quickly at uh, three quarter time, West Preston 9 10 64 leading Greensboro 7 7 49 and Diamond Creek, as we just said before, 12 9 81 leading Laylor 8 6 54. But here at the NFL Massive Day, three quarter time with Heidelberg doing it comfortably 14 11 95 leading the crowd 6 6 42 on your local station 88.6 Plenty Valley FM. The Greensboro Chamber of Commerce is offering a special prize to thank their customers for their support.